Okay, this is uh, for my friends in the HN3 chat group. There's a uh, tsunami, a K class that I just uh, pulled out. Save some time. I've just tinned every wire just on the end. I haven't cut any wires or anything, just, just tinned them on the end. These two leads, the red and the black, are coming straight off my track or the booster. So these are my test leads for my bench. So that's exactly the same as what's on your track, north and south. That's the test lead. It's got a little motor there. I've got some leads here. If you look at the leads, you'll see one leg is longer than the other. The long one is positive, the short one is negative, and I've sold it on a couple of um, 1.2K resistors onto the short one. The blue wire, you're going to need um, to split that so you, you um, make up a, uh, another wire because each of these blue has got to go onto the long leg of the, uh, of the lead. I've got a speaker here ready to go, I've got a motor there ready to go, so let's get into it. First thing we're going to do is we'll solder this twin blue wire on, and I'll just put a bit of heat shrink over that. You've got to make sure you've got plenty of heat shrink to do these things. A bit of heat shrink, whoop, a bit of heat shrink there, you know, it's still cold dry. Okay, oh, there we go. Cover all your joins. You can't short anything out. This is how you smoke, smoke the coaters if you don't. Um, and I just use the back of the iron, don't, not, not the tip, just the back. And that's done. Right, so that's that. We can go on to the long leg. It's only rough, but it's enough to show you what's going on. Now, one's going to be the white wire, so we need a bit of heat shrink. We'll put it on a sec. One, the white, the white's the hit your front, yellow is your rear. Okay, a couple of bits of heat shrink here, ready to go. I might have to take this into uh, two little videos. Just cover those over. Yellow, come in yellow. Okay. And that just slides over the heat shrink. I just slide it over the, um, that we can shrink that later. And the blue wire is there. Now all the lights are gonna work. And to check that, we go red to red. So the red wire on the Dakota goes to your track and the black one goes to your other test lead, the black one. I'll put that on there now. That's on default three. We should see it's some leads working. Okay, there's one lead working. Change direction and the other lead works. Okay, it's changing the direction. We get the leads. So we know the leads are working. Okay, we never solder with power on. Always take the power off. So the next one what we'll do, we'll do the speaker. I'll put a couple of wires on the speaker and we'll see if we've got some sound. I also use cast flux on a lot of the stuff that I do. And that it's, um, just gets you a good solder join. Uh, gonna need a heat shrink. shrink on the other purple wire. Doesn't matter which purple wire goes to which on a single um, install when you only got one speaker. Okay, so I've got that there. Push these up. Run the back of the iron over it. Shrink it a bit. We don't have any wires open or bare. You can't have any open or bare wires. Okay, we put this back on again. We go red and we go black. There's black. Black's hiding, there it is. Now, there you go. 
turn the throttle up. Hey, we've got sound. Take the wires off, we'll put the motor on. Always take the wires off when you're soldering, never solder when you've got, got um, connect, uh, track connected to it, you'll, you'll smoke your Dakota for sure. I'll just do this quickly, as I can, I'm trying to save time here with this video. Uh, Grey and orange, orange goes to the positive, come on, a bit more solder. Okay, so now we've got that, I'll test it again. Black and red, red to red, and it doesn't really matter. Oh, there we go. We've got sound, we've got lights, and the motor. Now there's the motor turning. Okay, we've got the lights still working. Either way we want. So there you go, there's your basic of a Dakota. The other wires, the green and the brown, are for other lights, like marker lights or firebox flicker. And the white wire coming out the back, that goes to a sound cam if you've got one fitted. Otherwise you've got to use the automatic. So there you go, that's, um, that's how it is. The surface mount LEDs I use, they're the 603s, these are the big ones. I've got to, I get these by the thousand, so but you can just use normal LEDs. If you want to teach yourself this, just use a normal LED. Just remember on a LED, you must have a resistor. And the long one is the positive and the short one is where the resistor goes. And uh, that's about it. So there you go. I hope that's helpful. Cheers.